Hey, it's Arant here. In this tech tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect your domain name to System.io. I'm going to be using Namecheap for this particular demonstration. So I have purchased the domain name, which is dcthop.com. Now, what I've done is I go to advanced settings and I could see here the different C names. Now you will notice that the current C name goes to a parking Namecheap page. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this URL right here. We're going to go to the settings area. You're going to hover over the profile picture. You're going to click on settings. Once you've done that, you click on custom domains, and then you're going to click on add domain. Once you've done that, you're going to type it in like so, and you're going to do www.save. Now you're going to get this information. Now you will notice that you've got this right here and C name, and then you got this thing. So you're going to copy this portion. You're going to go back to Namecheap and you're going to replace what's in here. So the www and the C name needs to be matching what you see right here. Once you've done that, and this is important because I cannot create a new record because otherwise it will conflict. Now I'm going to click on save changes and that's done. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to copy this section all the way until the dot. So notice that from here to here to the dot com, this is the domain name. You don't want to copy that. You want to copy everything up until the dot, not the dot. Then you're going to go back to Namecheap. You're going to click on add new record. You're going to search for C name record. You're going to go to host. You're going to paste in what you just copied. Then you're going to go to target. You're going to go back to settings and then you're going to copy this entire piece. You're going to copy, go back to Namecheap, paste it in, and you're going to click on save changes. Now your domain name was successfully connected. You're going to go back here. You're going to click here and you will see it will say pending verification. So the last step to be done is you want to add a redirect domain for this domain name. Now, this is the last step of the domain integration because you want the domain name to work regardless of if somebody types in www dcthelp.com. So it will work even without the www. So the way you do that is you hover over to domain, you go to redirect domain and you add this redirect. Now I've already added it. So I'm just in order to show you how to do it. If you're in that situation, I'm going to use a different domain name to show you how it's done. So we are on this domain name, siogift.com, and you're going to scroll to redirect domain. You're going to click on add redirect. You're going to paste in the domain name like so, and then you're going to do it again. But before that, you're going to type in HTTPS forward slash or semicolon forward slash forward slash www dot. Then you're going to do that. And now it will work even if you just type this on its own and that's adding the redirect. So to recap on the domain integration, we added two C name records from system IO to your domain provider, in this case, Namecheap. And then we set up a redirect. So the domain name will work even when somebody doesn't type www. After you connected the domain name, the next step is to verify your professional email address with System.io by verifying it through a click in an email and also through adding a variety of records. And there are three C name records and one DMARC record that needs to take place. This step can only be done after you have a professional email address set up. So if you don't have a professional email address set up already, that will be your next step. Now, somewhere around here, you will see a video where I hopped on a Zoom call with my virtual assistant and he walked me through creating a professional email address from A to Z. So if you don't have that, you should check out that video. If you do have that, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to move to show you how to verify those three C name records, the DMARC record, and verify the email address. And that is a small segment from the video that I did with my virtual assistant. So I'm going to go ahead and now show you that particular portion of the video, and you'll be able to see how to add those three CNAME records, one DMARC record, and verify the email address. So I click here and cool. I do dcthelp.com. Yep. And save. Save. And then I click here. Yep. And then I go to this with the dot or without the dot? Without the dot. Okay. Go to Namecheap, scroll back to mm -hmm. the top to the, and then here I add C name, right? That's correct. 
Okay, so C name. Now we're yeah. very we're verifying the domain name. Yes, correct. Actually, we're not verifying the domain name. We're connecting the mailing settings. Ah, mailing settings. Okay, so we'll do here save. Okay. C name records. Go mm -hmm. back to system. Grab the second one again. Up to the dot, but without the dot. Yes, correct. If you do the dot, it gets stuck. Yeah. Okay, Q one. Okay, that looks good. And one more. C name. Let's go back to settings. After domain key. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Make sure you grab everything. Nothing is missed. Paste this here. Go back to system. Key three. Go back to main cheap. Mm -hmm. And then what's this one as well? This one? Uh, yes, the DMARC. Okay, so this is text record. So now we're doing the DMARC records part. Yes. This is TXT. So that's a TXT. Yep. This is to be able to verify so the emails are actually received. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So for here, we have to switch the. Okay, we have to change the email address to partners at, right? Partners at dcthelp.com. Once those records are added, you also want to scroll down to verified email addresses. You're going to click here on the click here to confirm your email address. Then you're going to type in the email address. In this case, it was partners at dcthelp.com. You're going to click on save. And then you're going to see that it will say pending like so. And what's going to happen is there's going to be an email that will be received in the inbox to be able to verify it. In the meantime, we got the email from system. So now we can verify. So basically, you see here where this says pending. So now if I was to click on this link right here, and then I need to click on confirm, successfully confirmed, return to mailing settings. And then if I go back to here, you will see that it's verified, but the domain is not verified yet. So the email address is verified, but the domain name is not. So once this says yeah. verified, this little thing yes. will disappear. And it is now the next day. I'm hovering over the profile settings and emails, and you will see that the domain name is now verified. And the email address is also verified that there's no issues. So that's all good. And everything is in place. I know this whole process can be quite tedious. Two CDM records for a domain name, three CDM records for the email verification, one DMARC record verifying the email address and also creating the email address in the first place. All of that and also additional integrations is something that me and my team actually offer to do it for you, with you on Zoom. And I would love for you to explore that option. We do it either as a paid service, one-on-one. -on -one. There'll be a link in the description for you to check it out. Or alternatively, we offer it completely for free in case you decide you want to join System.io and pay for the annual plan, $197 a year, using my affiliate link. So you can check it out by going to aran.link forward slash 197 bonus. Once I verify, I received credit for your affiliate sale. I will then connect you with my virtual assistant who will walk you through all of the tech integrations you have just seen. Lastly, if you do want to try and DIY this as well, there is going to be a checklist for you to check out. Go to aran.link forward slash tech integrations, and you'll be able to download the checklist to take you through this entire process from A to Z. That's about it. Really appreciate you. If you've got any other questions for me, leave a comment below. And in the next video, I'm going to show you with my virtual assistant how to create a professional email address.